Hi guys, Natalie here. I hope everyone is doing well at home, um, staying safe and sanitary. Um, that being said, I don't want you guys to get bored, so me and the staff are working on making everyone um, videos that are user friendly that you guys can follow along with because um, we want to make sure that your time is occupied and nobody's sitting here doing nothing, right? Um, so, including myself. Because uh, if I sit here all day and watch TV, I'm going to go crazy. So, today I decided that we are going to make Funfetti Cupcakes with Chocolate Frosting. Why? Because it's my favorite and um, there's a special day coming up. So, I would like to celebrate. So... It's a very happy day. Um, so Funfetti cupcakes with chocolate frosting and maybe some sprinkles if I have. Um, you guys can follow along. It does not have to be Funfetti. It can be chocolate. It can be vanilla. It can be strawberry. Whatever you like is what you can make. Um, there's no rules. Um, so let's take a minute to think about what we may need to bake, because that's what we're doing, right? We're baking. Um, we're definitely going to need an oven. So there's that. Oh, I definitely need to put my dishes away first because I need a clean space to work in, and this will not work for me. So first, make sure you have a clean space, um, and then we can look into the materials that we need. Um, but before we even touch that and clean up, uh, we need to wash our hands because my hands were just on the computer typing, um, I was drinking my coffee, I was texting on my phone, so before I even touch any ingredients with my hands or any pots or pans or anything I might need, um, I'm going to wash my hands and get all the germs and icky stuff away. Um, here's a little tip on how to wash your hands. Um, cause a lot of us, you know, just put the water on and just real quick, but especially right now with, uh, germs everywhere, we want to make sure that we're really washing our hands, um, thoroughly. So do two pumps of soap and sing the alphabet. So when you wash your hands, sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Sing it slow and really rub and make sure that you're getting the germs off. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put my dishes away. Um, I'm going to take out the supplies that I need. And I will meet you back here with everything that I need. And we'll begin to bake. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right. So my hands are washed. My dishes are put away. Um, so the next thing I did was I took out my materials and ingredients that I will need to make the cupcakes. So take a moment to think about what you think, um, will need to make them. So I'll give you guys about like 10 seconds to think of what ingredients you might need. Definitely some frosting to decorate, right? Uh, what color do you think you would want it to be? If you have food coloring, you might be able to make vanilla frosting into a fun color. Um, all right. So let's go over what we need to make cupcakes. The first thing is the mix. And remember, like I said, it doesn't have to be funfetti. Whatever you have is okay. It can be strawberry, it can be vanilla, it can be chocolate. Uh, really, anything is delicious. Um, usually, on the back, it'll say what ingredients you need. Um, so, in this case, we need one cup of water. Okay, so I have water, um, but how do you think I would be able to measure it? I can't just take a regular cup because how am I supposed to know how much to put in there? Um, but on the box it says one cup, so it seems like I would need a measuring cup, which I have here. 
Then it says I need half a cup of oil. Um, so I have here olive oil. Um, and the one that I have, it says that it is used for baking, sauteing, or frying. Um, you could use whatever oil that you have. I'm sure it's fine. Vegetable oil, canola oil, um, whatever will work. Lastly, it says I need three eggs. So while I was gathering my materials, I actually put them in my measuring cup just for now to hold them because I didn't have enough hands. <laughs> so there are my three eggs. Uh, my eggs are brown eggs, but white eggs are fine too. Um, okay. So that's what I need for the mix. So I have all that. Um, I'm going to need something to put my mix into. So what do you think that is? It is a bowl. So I have a bowl to put my stuff into. Uh, lastly, what do you think we need to mix the batter? We can use a whisk or we can use um, a wooden spoon. Either one will work. It's up to you, whatever you prefer. Um, it might be easier with the whisk, um, but it might be easier with the wooden spoon. You can try both out, see what you prefer. Um, there's no wrong way to do it. Then, um, we need somewhere to put our cake or cupcakes into. So you can make a cake if you would like, um, or you can make cupcakes. Like I said, I'm gonna make cupcakes because I like to share and it's easier for me to give some away to my neighbors, friends, family. Um, so I have my cupcake tin and I have my nonstick spray. Um, so, when I bake them, my cupcakes won't get stuck into the tray and they won't break. Um, if you don't have pan, you could absolutely use butter. That'll work just as fine. And lastly, I need frosting. And I need something to put the frosting on with. So you can use a butter knife or you can use a spatula. Um, if you have sprinkles, you can use sprinkles on top at the end. If you're using vanilla frosting and you have food coloring, you can put a couple of drops in um, the vanilla frosting to make it a fun color. Um, you could really have fun with it. So that being said, I'm going to start to follow the instructions on the back of the box to see what we need to do to make these delicious cupcakes. So. The first thing that it says is that I have to set my oven to 350 degrees. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to try to take you guys with me. Okay. So here is my oven. Here's my other cupcake tin and 350 is right here. So I'm just going to turn that all the way to 350. Let me see if I can put a light on for you guys. That might be a little bit easier. You want to make sure that there's nothing in your oven and that it's completely empty because if there was stuff in it, it would be dangerous. Um, now an oven will take a couple of minutes to heat up. So while it takes a few minutes, um, now would be a great time to start your actual prepping and making your batter, um, your mix into batter. Um, it's very important that you do not eat the batter um, because it's raw and it can get you very sick. Um, so that being said, let's go on to making our cupcakes. 